your family time in between that shit? Okay, I balance my family time out. You know, I love, I love my family, so I balance that out. Right. So you got a little daughter, right? Yeah, I'm a daughter 24 7. She yeah. don't help me. Yeah, I see you. I'll be seeing you, bro. I love that, though. I love that shit, bro. That family shit is important, bro. Wow, man. So what you see for as far as this fight coming up in a couple of weeks, you, you took some time off from work from your day job to Oh yeah, yeah, train. for sure, man. I took like a whole month off, man. man was, hey, you excited, you excited about it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm excited. You know, yeah. nothing nervous in me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I don't feel nothing, you know? I right. said, what division you fight in? I fight banner weight. Banner, banner, they call it banner weight? Yeah, I come from 162 all the way to 135. 162 to 135. Yeah. Where you at right now? Where you sitting at? So I'm at 155 right now. 155. So yeah. you got to cut weight for this fight? I lose 20 pounds. You 20 know? pounds? Like light 20. Yeah, man, hey, man, do your thing. You can control yourself. You know, man. Yeah, I can't eat. You know, I can't eat how I want to eat, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. 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 It's about discipline, you know what I'm saying? That's the end of the, end of the day. End of the day, and I ain't very disciplined in a lot of shit I do, but I try. Yeah, you know that's it. Because it's your lot of work, man. Y'all gotta definitely be yeah. on your shit, though. You gotta be on your shit. You gotta be on your shit, man. Beautiful thing, man. So, one, is it 125 to 1? Nah, one, um, 162. I walk around at 162. Okay. I'm okay. 135. Oh my God, man. That's, is that abnormal? Is that, is that normal to do? When I was heard Floyd used to do a lot of crazy shit like that far cutting that weight, it wasn't enough for him to walk around in a certain way to hit, get far time fight and come he there where he need to be at. Yeah, that's it. It's like you won't be drained, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You'll have a headache. Right. So you're gonna be lightheaded, but okay. it's just it's a mental thing, it's a mind thing. I got you. You gotta fight it, you know what I'm saying? You. What's your diet like? Far so, as yeah. what you eat on a day to day? My diet my diet I mean like salad in the morning. Okay. Um salad and the bacon the bacon bites, you know, it's so, okay. um, Tuna, salmon, protein, everything grilled, you know, no bread. Right. If I eat rice, I eat a little rice, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I yeah, you said that tuna and shit like that in a salmon, it's not with good a, protein. With a gallon of water a day. You know? Gallon of water a day? Yeah. Oh, you did. That's definitely keep that in the car with you wherever you at. Got to. Yeah, that's important, bro. That's important. That's your fuel, man. Got to. Hey, wow, man. So, so, as far as the gym you fight out of, man, y'all, uh, how, many, how many guys fight in your camp? Uh, we, got, we got a whole lot of guys. We got at least five. Eight guys coming out okay. on this fight, so we, we got a big, we got a big car, you know okay. what I'm saying? So everybody at my gym, you know, okay. boy, they, they buy, they buy whatever. From what weight class to what weight class? See, we got 155, um, 135, 125, 145. Okay. How many guys in battle weight with you? Um, about, about two or three. You two or three. Yeah. You, you, so you, you, do you predominantly spar with those guys or you spar with guys bigger? Oh yeah, yeah, I spar with them. I spar with guys bigger. Oh, you know, some days you know, they beat me, you know. Yeah. I don't let my ego get up, you know. I, get up, you know? <laughs> I like to lose in practice, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like to lose in practice. Yeah, you know? I'm like your brothers, man. Yeah, when I get in the cage, you know. Yeah, it's a different story. We got me getting the gym. Right, 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 right. So, so I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking like if you fight a bigger cat, that make a little cat easy when you fight them. I guess they really don't really matter at the end of the day. That's what you and because yeah. you can tap any fucking time, huh? Yeah, matter. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter. Big, small, you know, right. don't matter. You know what I'm right, 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 right. When y'all when y'all sparring like that, do y'all go hard or is it basically trying to hurt the guys? Y'all go pretty much easy and just let them know I could have got you. It depends. Like we go like. How hard you hit me? If you hit me hard, I'm gonna hit your ass hard. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So if you want to keep that that pace, keep that that pace. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to get physical, mm -hmm. just, just stay home. You know what I'm saying? Hit the spot. Y'all use the head gear when y'all spar. Y'all won't use no head gear. Just gloves. Just gloves. That's it. What the ounce of gloves y'all want? I said four ounces. You feel? Four me? ounces. Yeah. Beautiful thing. So you can basically feel that punch. You feel? You gonna feel that? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You ever had your bell rung in practice? I had my bell rung in practice. Real shit. Head kick. Yeah. Um, you know. You took it. You take the rest of the day off after that? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, keep going. You just get back together, huh? Hey, man. Keep beautiful going, man. Beautiful. beautiful. One thing about this shit, never fucking quit, you know? Mm -hmm. That one thing about it, I already lost, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm okay. good, you already lost. Hey, man, I'm from the bottom. We started from the bottom. Started from the bottom. We're crawling ourselves out this hole. We're going to do it, too. Man, I'm telling you, I'm proud of you, man. Home team, man. Hey, a lot of them might not know Petey. I don't know that. You this young Petey right here, yeah, man. I don't even know it, man. Young Petey. In the building, nigga. Hey, this is Chop Up Out. We're going to be right back, man. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is Chop Up Out. We're here with Baby Zeus. Yo! Yo! We're back with Baby Zeus in the building. Already. Oh, MMA, man. Soon to be star, man. Mega star, man. I'm going to speak it over his life because I already see what this young man is. This young man is a king, man. He's dedicated. And he's definitely uh, got a love for the game. So, Zeus. What's up? Man, tell us a little bit something about your upbringing, man. Yeah, man, about my upbringing, man. What really got me into the MMA, man. 
Um, but man, Danny go light, you know what I'm saying? Man, training with him, working hard, you know? Put a buzz up, man. He say, if you really want to do this, you know, you're going to ride for it. Most people get in the cage one time, take a punch, bounce that foot back in that ring, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not in that ring, but in the octagon. Right there, see it, man. Right. Blood, sweat, and tear. I do this. That's what I'm talking about. Danny go light, man. So he was instrumental, man, and you coming up and getting you involved in the fight, man. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, man. You know, he, um, he fought actually pro, you know? Okay. Like, what said, weight class he fought at, you know? He fought at one, 155. He still fighting? Yeah, he, um, he get back in it. Okay. Yeah, he he get, he pro. Okay. Yeah, he walk around at like one ninety. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Cut the one fifty five. So okay. he a big dude. So what they tell you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's different in the game. No doubt about it. Bigger punches and everything else, man. So so as far as like, man, y'all, I really look up to y'all. Boy, y'all were like modern day gladiators, man. They really get in there and do it. That boxing shit, one thing, man. But that shit when you using your full body, that's a whole different ball game. Yeah, bro. for real. You know what I'm saying? So. I know we spoke on earlier about your training regimen, man. What, man, what drives you, man? What drives you to stay into that, man? Uh, I know man. you see people fall off, man, on one thing today, on another thing tomorrow, man. What, what do you for you, bro? Just about my life, you know, um, getting put up for adoption growing up, you know. My mom had 12 kids, so okay. um, she stayed up, you know, we still communicate, you okay. know. But my auntie took me in as a seat at the hospital, okay. you know. But just seeing my auntie go to work, mm -hmm. you know, every day. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I call break down. Okay. And she working fast, so she got to walk to work. See. As a kid, you know, I never was afraid, you know. Okay. So I was just a little frightened. Okay. So I used to walk behind her, you know what I'm saying, to make sure she make it to work on gotcha. time. Nothing happened to her. Gotcha. Then I had my uncle. Um, you was on the kid. She was your only kid. She was nah, her. It was me and my sister. Your sister. Okay. Yeah. So I had my uncle. Um, he was in the military, so he was doing the work. Ride his bike to work all the way from Hollywood to Tamarack, you know what I'm saying? Jesus. So on Sundays, I used to see him get on his bike, you know, I, I'd be a little scared, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So nobody won't hurt him or nothing. Right, right, right. He's still in your life? Yeah, he's still in my life, you know? So I'd be a little scared. Okay. But Sunday, my auntie wake me up for work. I'd be happy because I know he made it to work on time, you know? Straight up. But I knew he had a sacrifice to get food on the table for me. Right, right, right. He must be real proud of you today. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he real proud of me, you know? He told me whatever I do, he gonna be behind me, so yeah. Then my dad, I, I remember dad we came in our relationship. My dad got life in prison. Okay. You know, I talked to him on FaceTime. Okay. You know, and all that. Go How that feel, man? Oh, I feel good, man. He see me in the gym. He trained with me. He see me in the gym. Okay. So he he wanted to be, even though he locked up right now gotcha. on life sentence, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, man. I feel my whole butt, man. On two murder charges, you know. I love I love the fact yeah, that man. Know. You know, you still don't judge it, man. Even though you know things, you know. I I took control, told him we know that, but just being able to rekindle the relationship with him, oh, like yeah. he's been down, so you know what I mean. That, that must mean a lot to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I put everything in God's hands, you know. At the end of the day, man, what a smoke we got. You know, nobody perfect, you know. No, man. I, I look at this social media shit, you know, and everybody on yacht parties and yeah, man, the grass green in the front yard, but it's dirt in the backyard. You better believe. You feel me? Don't get caught up in it, man. The grass green, you know. I tell you, brother, hey, your piece is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? Man, from watching you training, man, look like you love being there, man. It just look like you love it, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the streets. That's the streets to me. I, I look at the MMA just like the streets, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, okay. My, that's my piece, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's my piece. That, that's why I get my comfort zone. I mean, my comfort zone when I'm inside the gym. Right, right. How your peers look at you like I'm from? I know you still, are you, are you still in the same neighborhood you grew up in? Are you living there still? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how you, you feel like you get looked at any differently, man? Why your peers, man, just came up with, man? Like, why, what, what this nigga think he's doing or uh, shit like that? Because uh, sometimes I feel that way. Oh, uh, man, my peers, it's like, some days I feel like people, they don't want to see you winning, you know? Right. Some people don't want to see you winning, you know? Like, right. Like, when I first got in, I had people telling me I'm going to get knocked out, I'm going to lose, you right, know? Right, right. And I done the same people cheering me on, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, man. <laughs> it's like, it's it be shit. Great later, brother. It'll be great yeah. later, man. You're gonna be a champion for our neighborhood, our, our side of town, man. And I'm always goddamn a ride with you, bro. No. I'm watching you all uh, success, brother. So I mean what's your what's your record at this point? Three one and zero losses. Three one and zero losses. Three yeah, oh, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, man, it's all in the beginning. It's all in the beginning. All in the beginning, baby. Yeah, man, goddamn, man. The, the weight class you in right now, that's you wanna pretty much yeah, so you know, you yeah, yeah. When I go pro, I'm gonna stay at that weight class. You know? yeah. What's some what's some fighters you look up to, man, that you kinda like, you know, like I I like how that cat do what he do with that. 
Shit, I love John Jones. Okay. I love Max Holloway. You know? Okay, okay. Max Holloway. Yeah. John Jones. I think he supposed to fight that Asian guy soon, right? Yeah, that yeah. Guy from yeah, he supposed to fight him. Yeah, I saw that the other day on what's the name podcast? Tyson podcast. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be a good fight. It'll be a good fight. That boy, you feel like you're unorthodox? Or John Jones, you feel like you're unorthodox fighting with me, man. Yeah, he can fight all styles, man. I he's saw just, that. He's just a beast, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Can't stop him. He'll be a beast. Yeah. Like, it, it, Find a way to win. He born, he born in it. born in him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once he's born in you. Right, right. And you got that heart and you train that mind, nobody can stop him. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a lot of melts. more melts than anything yeah. else, right? That's how Floyd is, you know? Floyd. Yeah. Floyd's smart. He's a smart fighter. Smart, definitely. People say yeah. he hit a run, but she hit a run and get his bag. You yeah, know, get yeah. up out of there. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's true, but I had recently seen on on, you know, on social media that he supposed to fight the, the white guy that knocked out uh, yeah. uh, Robinson, Nate Robinson. Yeah, in June. Is that true? Yes, sir. That June is June 6th. June 6th. Wow. How you feel about that one? I mean, I feel like Floyd's going to kill him. Anyway. Yeah, I feel the same way. He ain't going to touch him. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody Floyd fault. It's hard to touch him, man. Yeah, yeah. I got to agree, man. You think it's a little weird him coming out of retirement to do this fight? See, yeah, you, I feel, you got anything to prove at this point? Really, no, right? Yeah, you got anything to prove, but yeah, yeah. I don't think the fans want him to lose. You know, if right. he lose, that one loss gonna cause like going to be that going his record, that fight that was going his record, yeah. that lost. Yeah, going his record that's lost. So. Oh God, man. Yeah. So the other guy fro, he fro already. The other guy fro, I don't know, I don't know much about the other guy. I hate YouTube. You know, YouTube. Yeah, he oh, go YouTube. Oh. He go hit YouTube. Go and get that bag. Get that yeah, bag. Get that bag, man. We gonna draw the people in here, man. Get this bag. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? I wonder what the purpose is on that fight. You know, did you? You got to research on that, what the purse going to be for as far as payment for Floyd. That purse going to be like two mil. Oh, my God. For the other guy, for the, for the, for the underdog. Yeah, underdog. Yeah, that's that's a nice payday for him, man. Yeah, even if you lose. The biggest payday ever. Even, even if you lose. Even if you lose. So. I know you going to come in that trial, and we ain't throwing reckless punches to try to see if he can uh, grab him something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Grab yeah, I get it, man. I get it, man. I recently was watching... um. Mike Tyson podcast, man, and he had all the legends on there. Sugar Ray, uh, who they had on there? Sugar Ray, uh, what other boy name, man? That fought on the fourth floor as well, too, man. Sugar Shane Mosley. Yeah. And uh, he had a couple more of the guys on there, man. And I, it was an amazing episode. I, I enjoyed watching the guys talk this shit. And, you know what I mean? I just, like I said again, I feel like y'all was gladiators, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Modern day gladiators without all the armor and steel and the sword and the shield and all that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta be a soldier. When you step in, when you step in the outer, you gotta, you gotta be a soldier. You, know? about it. you gotta be a soldier. With what? A leading up until your fight, man. With the last couple fights, the last three fights you won, man. What you do in the locker room before you come out, man? What, what, what's your regimen? Oh, uh, man. Most people don't believe it, but I listen, I listen to gospel music, man, when I'm back there at the home. Um, I listen to gospel music, you know. Glory, man. We, yeah, we, I, I listen to music that, like, they keep me like not too hype. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. You get too hype, you go, to, you go, you go to spaz, not throwing right. punches everywhere. Right, right. I like to stay calm. I so how, what's the time frame they really want y'all at the at the uh, stadium, like the arena uh, you know, before y'all fight? What's the what's the what's the what's the hour break breakdown? A couple hours before like, the fight. Like two two and a half hours before the fight. And then that process, you back stage, you back, you back in the locker room. Warming up, you know. Warming up, training, stretching. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. What's your training? Yeah, I'm training. Wow, man. That's got to be amazing, man. Is it a perk on your level? Is it a perk? Do y'all fight for a perk on your level? Oh, uh, well, you get no sponsors yet. It would be by perks, you know what I'm saying? By perks. Like my last fight, um, I had a fight. I didn't take the fight, you know. They offered me. Yeah, you know, yeah, we gotta speak on that, but yeah, just to go with somebody at home, that's all that matters. You know what I mean? Shit, that's what I'm yeah, talking man. about, bro. I'll be able to try to get at your dope route later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beautiful thing, man. Damn, man. Talk your shit, bro. I wanna hear you, man. Um, far as, uh, you know, you got your baby at the house, the wife, you don't match your girl, you all married yet? Now I'm his fiance, you know. Yeah, his fiance, so you yeah. gonna get married so Yeah, yeah, you know. I see you out there on social media where he yeah, got yeah, 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 to, man. Playing salmon and shit. Yeah. The nigga eat the nigga eat good. <laughs> you hear me, man? Got to, man. You know what it's about at the end of the day, man. How long don't you grow up now? Shit, going on, we 10 years in a hole, too. Yeah, you know? Hey, man. Yeah, hey, y'all look like y'all yeah. happy, man. Yeah, look yeah, like y'all too, bro. You got to, man. Hey, I know people wanted to know, man. What the minutes is on that, dog? I can't really see it. Oh. You got to register your hands? Yeah, yeah, I remember hands registered. My hands and my feet registered. Okay, there we go. Hands and feet registered. So you got sign paperwork for that? Yeah, yeah, sign paperwork. I always heard about the register hands, so that means you can't just swing on niggas out there on the scrum. Nah, nah. Unless these niggas just really push the button. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you ain't gonna get away with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, 
How I heard that for many years about the registry hand shit. I ain't never know what to what extent that how that worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like that. down to having a gun all the night. That shit hurt the felony. Be hit a bitch. Real yeah. shit. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to spare a lot of niggas. Yeah, that like, got to. That's yeah, why you stay away from them. Yeah, yeah, Zeus, man. How they can find you, Zeus? How they can find you on social media world? How do people find you? Um, Baby Zeus, you know. Um, then I got, you know, I got my own Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So y'all just go on there and follow me. But y'all really follow me on Instagram, man. Baby Zeus, man. B A B Y Z U E S. Y'all go follow me on Baby Zeus, man. Y'all heard him. Y'all heard him. This is the Chop Up Mob with Thank Fat you. Man. Baby Zeus in the building. Y'all know what it is. He got a fight coming up on what day, Zeus? May 15th. May 15th at Extreme Park in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Y'all fuck with this guy, man. He the real deal, man. He the hometown champion, and I fucks with him. And I'll be at the fight, fight night, man. Y'all know what it is. It's the Chop Up Hour. I'm Fat Man. Baby Zeus in the building. We appreciate it for stepping out and fucking up with us and chopping it up with us. Yo! That shit gonna be on point. Y'all know what it is, man. Straight yeah, knockout. Yeah, man. Knockout yeah, yeah. shit.